In response to Sonic Frontiers being considered too easy, Sega upped the difficulty for its third wave DLC. This change was met with anger and incredulity by some, who now found the game simply too difficult to play. A quick look at their gameplay, however, reveals that they just simply never understood the mechanics to begin with. It appeared that most people were playing by running straight into enemies without analyzing their behaviors, the inputs they were providing, or how those inputs factor into the ultimate outcome. And it's difficult to blame the player, because our industry at large has been telling players this is normal. We've been telling people that even though this is an interactive medium, your actual input is largely irrelevant, as is your actual thought. And if a game refuses to let you have what you want, then it must be bad. And it is true that games have gotten easier, but let's not mistake the point here. Ease and difficulty are relative. What matters is not whether something is difficult, but whether it serves artistic purpose. All art communicates ideas, and video games, being interactive, sometimes use game mechanics or game design as a medium of communication. They require active mental, emotional, and physical input from the player to get the whole experience. But when most people play games, they don't play them to see the art's purpose, they just play them to be distracted or entertained. There are many parallels to be drawn here to daily social interactions. Most people only socialize to get something they want or out of a perceived expectation. They rarely take genuine interest in worldviews, concepts, or personalities outside of their preconceived tastes and biases. Like these social interactions, video games are a conversation. People will most often prefer the games which simply give them the stimulation they prefer. But this is, I think, an inherently flawed mode of engagement, both with people and with art. The world does not exist to sate our desires, nor does it exist to our design. Video games are an expression of artistic passion and creativity. They don't exist just to make you personally feel validated. Different art speaks differently, means different things, and not all art is made for all people. It is ludicrous to act as though an increase in challenge is itself a flaw in an artistic work. We should ask to what end the challenge was increased, its purpose, and determine if it's met said purpose. Try to look past your immediate reactive emotional engagement. Don't simply ask whether something satisfies you, ask whether the dissatisfaction serves a meaningful purpose to others or to the medium you engage with. Because, you know, games certainly aren't going to do it for you anymore. The problem with Sonic Frontiers was not that it was too easy or that it's now too difficult, it's that it was too desperate to appeal to everyone.